find a comfortable position. Remember that if you always cross the same leg in front, it's nice to switch it up to create more harmony in the body. So changing the leg that is in front. And then find a neutral pelvis. Pelvis like an upright bowl, not tilting too much forward, neither back. Tone in the lower abdominals, lengthen through the spine and relax the shoulders. Palms can be facing up, receptive to this moment, opening up to your experience, unique to this very moment. Join the tips of the thumbs and pointer fingers together, closing the eyes. Begin to watch your breath. Without needing to control the breath, for now just feel air entering through the nose, filling up the lungs. Air moving out through the nose, emptying lungs. Inhaling that freshness, so much prana coming in, expand. Contract the low belly as you exhale, encouraging any stagnant energy to leave your system. Soften any unnecessary tension. Inhale, filling up with vitality. Present moment awareness. And exhale, any fluctuations of the mind that may be taking you away from this moment. The vrittis, the modifications of the mind are something that when we practice present moment awareness, start to dissolve. So the mind comes back to its natural state of ease and pure awareness. There is no longer the ups and downs that take you to the past, to the future, projecting, remembering. The monkey mind calms down. Yoga chitta vritti nirodaha. Yoga is the calming of the mental fluctuations, the vrittis. The next time you inhale now, circle the arms, reach them up by the head, interlacing fingers, press the palms upwards and extend the arms, taking another deep breath in. Breathe out, bend the elbows out, relax the shoulders, palms are still facing up. Do it again, inhale, stretch the arms up containing the low ribs and bend the elbow sideways, breathing out, contract the low belly. One more time, extend the elbows, inhale, stretch up the arm, bend the elbows, exhale, soften the shoulders. We're extending the arms once again, breathe in and this time lean over to the left, breathe out, side stretch. Stay here, inhale into the right side of the rib cage. And stay unrushed, exhale, get empty. Come to center, breathing in. Go the other way, breathing out, bending over to the right. Stay here, inhale, left side of the body expand. And stay getting empty on the exhale, relax unnecessary tension. Return to center, breathing in. Arms open wide, breathe out, interlace hands behind the hips, extend the arms back and lift chest. You can maintain your eyes closed, connecting to Anahata Chakra, the heart chakra. Notice what is there for you at the very center of the chest. Back of the neck is long. Try lifting the hands a little bit higher off the floor and take one more breath. And then release your hands and open your arms out with the palms facing up. 
Take another breath here, spread the fingers wide, palms facing up, stretch out the arms. As you exhale, bring your fingertips to touch your shoulders and make circles with your elbows moving backward. Yeah, so you can start small and then increase as you like, maybe even touching the elbows as you come forward. So allow there to be movement in the spine. There's a rounding when the elbows go forward and there's an arcing when the elbows go back. This will happen naturally if you just let your body move. Morning, Sharon. <laughs> So as we move the arms and the shoulders like this, we're freeing up the heart space. And then we can pause with the chest very open and join the hands together, close the eyes once again to create an intention for practice. Check in, what do you want? What do you really want to attract today? What is the quality that will help you feel more centered, more at ease. Creating this intention, we're chanting Om and then the mantra for freedom, Lokasa Nasta, three times. Take a deep breath in. Loka. Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Rub the palms against each other, planting and nourishing the seed of your intention. And then bring this warmth to cup eyes, clearing the vision to see truth, sat from satya, truthfulness. And gently slide the hands down the face, passing through jaw, the back of the neck. Massage yourself and breathe out, tension accumulated. Stress, let it go. And we'll now enter child's pose, coming onto the hands and knees. Take your time getting there. Rest your forehead on something so the muscles in the neck and shoulders can relax. Knees can be wide, torso low to the floor. We're approaching another full moon. So it's a nice time to cultivate awareness. What is this full moon illuminating for you? What is it bringing to your consciousness? Just be open to receiving any insight, any information. Take one more breath. And with the arms straight forward by the head, come forward onto hands and knees, curl the toes under, and lift the hips up and back, downward dog. Move around in a way that feels good. The full moon helps us connect to water, to fluidity, to pleasure, to sensation. Water is the element of the second chakra located around the pelvic floor, our emotional identity. So the full moon may come and bring a lot of 
emotions and feelings that perhaps have been dormant for a while. Allow yourself to feel it all, to breathe through whatever is happening, to let go of what's no longer serving you. Pause in center. With the next inhale, glide forward into plank. Exhale, bring knees to floor and move the hips around in circles. And again, let there be a sense of pleasure and enjoyment in the movement here. Very fluid as if you were moving through water awakening the waters of the second chakra, Svaristhana chakra, the sweet abode of the self. Let the neck and shoulders free up. Go the opposite way. Exploring your inner space, being with whatever comes up. Hmm. Returning to center, hands underneath shoulders. As you inhale, lift up the chest and look ahead, cat and cow. Exhale, contract the belly, round the back, chin into chest. Lift up the heart, shoulders down, neck long. Good. And exhale, contract the belly to round. Let's add a pause. Inhale, lifting up the chest. Pause with the breath in. Two seconds. One, two. Exhale, contract the belly. All the air out. And pause with the air out for two. One. Inhale, lift the chest for four. Three. Arcing. Two. One. Hold in for two. One, exhale, four, rounding three, two, one, hold two, one, breathe in for four, arcing three, two, one, hold two, one, breathe out for four, three, two, one, hold out for two, one, inhale, one, lifting two, three, Four, hold the breath, shoulders down. Exhale, four, three, relax your neck. Two, one, and hold here, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, four, lifting chest, three, two, looking ahead, one, hold, neck is long. Exhale, round the spine, last time, slow, exhale. Getting empty, hold the emptiness. Two, one, come to neutral. Low belly, drawing in a bit. Separate the knees wider than your hips for a twist. On the inhale, open your right arm out, lift up, look at your right hand. As you exhale, bring your right arm down. Reach under the left arm, almost touching the floor. Straighten the arm and then open again. Inhale, wide, reach high. Bring your hand down, exhale, almost touching the floor. Good, two more times. Inhale, building some heat. Exhale, cross under. Last one, and then we'll stay. Inhale, wide open. Exhale, down, and stay down. So now your head is on the floor, your shoulder is down, arm is straight, hand is resting as well. You can bend the elbow, left elbow to 90 degree. Press into the left hand, making a fist to give your wrist a break if you wish. Move the shoulders away from ear so there's lots of space around the neck. And you can either let this be easier on the neck by having the temple resting down, or you can twist a little deeper the neck by looking up over your right shoulder. Whichever you choose, maintain space around your neck. And there's a variation. Some people like to reach the left arm up, over, across the back, and hold the inside of the right thigh. Relax the shoulders. 
this will add a little extra pressure on the neck, right? So if the neck is not feeling great today, keep your left hand on the floor, which helps to relieve pressure from the neck. Just another couple breaths. Make sure you're not leaning with the hips over to one side. Keep your hips right between your knees. Easy breathing. And then to come out, the left hand on the floor, we come all the way back up on two fours. Good. Cat and cow to neutralize spine between the two sides. Lift your chest. Inhale. The knees can stay wide. Not a problem. Exhale. Contract the belly. Round the back. Lift the chest. Inhale. Shoulders low. Exhale. Round. Stretching the neck. Neutral spine to do the other side. Now the left arm opens out and up. Look at the left hand. Exhale, bring it down under the right arm, almost touching the shoulder to floor, and then open again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it down. Two more. Inhale, open chest, and I have the area exposed. Exhale, close, stretching the outer shoulder. Once again, inhale wide open. Exhale, coming down to stay. Reach far away. Position your right elbow to a 90 degree right above your wrist. You can make a fist if you wish. And then remember that the hips stay right between the knees. Tone in the low belly. Either the temple resting down or gaze over your right shoulder. Use the pressure of your right hand against the floor to create space around the neck. And maybe the right hand comes across the back, holds the inside of the left thigh. And when you do that, be mindful of the hips because they tend to lean over to the right here. Keep them right between the knees. You're still engaging the lower abdominals. And take a couple more breaths in this thread the needle twist. Lindalasana. To come out, right hand returns to floor. We lift the torso upright. Walk the hands ahead of the shoulders for another downward dog. The feet are a little wider. Just try it out with the feet wider. Send the hips further back. And then walk your hands back towards your feet, right between the feet. Bending the knees, hold on to elbows, relax the shoulders, rock side to side, explore sensation in the body. Aligned with the energy of the full moon. I think it's tomorrow or the day after, maybe the day after. So allow yourself to feel all the feelings. What is the most enjoyable way to move now? Returning to that sense of well-being that is your natural state of being in the body, in the mind. Sense of ease, of sukha, sweetness. Pause and center. Release the hands down with the knees slightly bent in line with the ankles, roll up the spine, coming to stand, shoulders up, back and down. Bring the feet hip distance apart for more stability. Pick up the toes, spread them wide and bring them down. Inhale, circle the arms, reach up overhead, Udvahastasana. Bow down over legs, exhale, Uttanasana. Look ahead, halfway up, breathe in. Fold over legs again, breathe out, bend your knees. Roll up, circle wide. Inhale, reach up high, a full moon all around. Bring that glow to the heart. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift up. Half sun salutation. Ardha Surya Namaskar, fold, exhale. Inhale, look ahead, shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees to fold. Roll up, circle wide, inhale high. 
exhale to heart. Let's chant to Surya, chanting to the sun for illumination, just like the moon, the sun illuminates, helps us see truth. Inhale. Om Bhu Vahaswaham Tatsavitur Vareneniyam Pargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodayat Om Circle wide, inhale. Now a big sun illuminating. Exhale, bow to that radiance, fold. Walk forward into plank pose. Inhale, Surya Namaskar. Folding halfway or all the way down, your choice. Lift the heart for upward dog or cobra. Downward dog, exhale, move your hips back. Stay with the breath, inhale, space, clarity. Exhale, breathe out any clutter, mental, physical, emotional, let it go. Inhale, expansion. Exhale, getting empty. <sighs> Lifting up the heels, breathe in. Breathe out to bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Flatten the back, breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana. Fold down, Uttanasana, bend knees. Roll up spine, circle arms, inhale, reach up high. Namaskar, returning to heart. Inhale again, circle the arms, reach up, Urdha Hastasana. Bow down, exhale, Uttanasana. Look ahead, long neck, Ardha Uttanasana. Hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Inhale, breathing together as one. Exhale. Notice the power of the Sangha, the support of this spiritual community that is formed by practicing yoga together, even in an online scenario. the energetic community. Inhale, lift up the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Flatten the back as you breathe in. Fall down, breathe out, bend the knees again to roll up. Circle wide, inhale high. Exhale to heart. From the chest, reach up, inhale, tone in the belly, engage your core. Reach forward, fold slowly all the way down. Step your right foot back, knee to floor, crescent moon. Raise your arms. Stay here as you exhale, relax the shoulders. Now bend your left elbow, tuck it in. The right hand could reach out, turning the palm back, maybe binding behind the upper back. Soften the shoulders. Now, see how low you can get your hips without overloading the low back. So maintain that engagement of the lower abdominals to protect your low back. And then send the head back into the arm. Soften both shoulders, relax your face. And feel the opening. Open to receiving any downloads from this full moon. What is it illuminating? Finally, final exhale. Extend your arms up, breathing in. Lower the hands down to floor, breathe out. Curl the right toes to straighten the legs, stabilize. Interlace hands behind the hips, extend the arms, and then peel your belly off your thigh, Move your left hip back a little more as you lift your torso. Find strength here. We're moving into humble warrior. Right heel to floor, your right toes turn out. Press the outside of your foot down, lift the chest. Reach your chest forward, left shoulder inside of knee. Top of head down, arms skyward. Now, 
Notice if your left hip is sticking out and draw it back, lengthen through the waist. Keep bending the front knee a lot. The arc in the back foot stays lifted. Find a sense of softening here. A sense of sweetness as you bow to life, to all the lessons, to all the learning, the growth that everything brings, every experience. Take one more breath. And reach chest forward towards the front of the mat. Bring your right hand to floor, left hand to hip. Come back to the ball of your right foot. So lift your heel up. Gaze over your left shoulder as you bend the front knee a lot. Extend the arm up. Send the outer left hip back, opening up the chest. Shoulder heads rotate back. The right heel doesn't collapse in or out, is right in line with the toes. One more breath. Hand will come back down. Enter plank pose, step that foot back. One breath here in plank strong. Lower both knees, sit back into child's pose. Stay for a breath, inhale to expand. And stay as you exhale to soften, to trust. Inhale, come forward onto the hands and knees. Chest goes forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga arms, elbows into the waist. Now move your chest forward and then lift, inhale. Stay here in upward dog if you can. Shoulders directly on top of the wrists. Draw the navel into spine if you like, the knees come off the floor. One more breath. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Heels lift up, breathe in. Breathe out, bend knees, look forward, step or hop, flatten back, inhale. Fold down, bend the knees, exhale. Roll up, circle wide, inhale high. Exhale to heart. Other side, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift, engage your core and reach forward with control, coming all the way down. Crescent moon, stepping that left foot back, inhale, raise the arms. So we have a crescent moon shape with the, uh, with the body from the back foot to the hands. Now containing the low ribs, bend the left elbow, tuck it in, Gomukhasana arms, the cow head arms. The right arm could reach out and under, interlacing hands. And remember, the hips can be low as long as your knee feels safe and the low back doesn't feel overly compressing. So navel in, send the head back, relax both shoulders. Opening the front of the body, opening up for truth to truth. Just one more breath here. And then releasing the hands, extend the arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, touch the earth. Curl the back toes to straighten the leg, stabilize. Interlace hands behind the hips with the opposite thumb on the outside. Stretch the arms. And as you lift your torso slowly, draw the outer right hip back. Come all the way up, extend the arms. Moving into the humble warrior. Left heel down, toes turn out. Inhale, lift the chest again. And then bow to life. Top of the head down. Right outer hip moves back. Press strongly down that back foot, especially the outside. Keep bending the front knee a lot, lengthening through the waist on the right side. Let more blood come to the head. And take one more breath here. Reaching the chest forward, hands down to floor. Come back to the ball of the left foot, right hand to hip, gaze over the shoulder to twist, arm can reach up, shoulder head back. Neck long, breath easy. 
One more deep inhale. Exhale to lower the hand back down. Step that right foot back into plank, strong inhale. Both knees to floor, sit in balasana, child's pose on the exhale and stay. Inhale here. Stay, exhaling all the air out. Come forward onto hands and knees, breathe in. Chest forward ahead of the fingers, bend the elbows into waist. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, chest forward and up. Stay for the exhalation. Take another breath, keep the navel into spine, inhale. Downward facing, exhale, back into that dog. Inhale. Connect to breath at all times. Next time you breathe in, lift up the heels. Breathe out, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop between the hands, flatten the back, inhale. Folding down, exhale, bend the knees and roll up. Circle wide, inhale, reach up high. Exhale, namaskar. Release the hands down. Step the right foot back, please. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Leg straight, left heel to right arc. Inhale, arms lift, shoulder height. Exhale, reach forward, lengthening the under waist as you lower your arm down, right arm up. Now, try bringing the chin into chest just a bit before you twist your neck. And see if that helps maintain the alignment of the spine. So the back of your neck stays long here. And you don't have to look up necessarily. You can you look straight ahead to the right or down at the left foot. Now find strength in, those, in the legs. We're moving into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. If you've got blocks and you want to use them, have them nearby. The block can be on the outside of the left foot. We're now bringing right hand to hip. Gaze at the left foot. A little bend in the front knee. Slide the block or the hand ahead of the foot to the left. And then shifting your weight to the left foot, you might wanna take a little step forward with the right foot and then lift the leg parallel to floor. Turning your right toes out to the right. Reach your right arm up. Open up the chest, neck long. And then see if you can be so light on your left hand that eventually your hand floats. To help with balance, you can gaze down at the floor. And if you want a little challenge, you gaze at the right or even up at the sky. A little bend in the left knee will also help with balance. Flex the right foot, press out through the heel and take one more breath in Ardha Chandrasana. And to come out, let's slowly return the left hand down and then the right hand. Keep your leg up, turn your right toes down towards the floor, keeping the leg parallel to floor. Fold over the left leg, release your head. Now let's see if we can move into a revolving crescent lunge or crescent moon from here. Sorry, not crescent moon, half moon. So keep stretching your right heel away from the hip, left outer hip back, and with or without blocks under your hands, reach your chest forward. The blocks really help here. The left hand comes to left hip, gaze over your left shoulder. Send the shoulders back. Keep opening the heart, maintaining a smooth breath. Energize both legs, press back through the inner right heel and take one more breath with the chest open. As you exhale, gazing back down at the floor, lower your left hand and place your right foot next to the left, folding over both legs, weight on both feet, hip distance apart. Inhale, reach the chest forward, come halfway up and fold again as you exhale over the legs. With the knees bent, roll up the spine, circle the arms and inhale, reach high. Exhale, namaskar. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reaching up. Actually, just open the arms. We'll start the same way we did on the first side. 
So stepping the left foot back, nice and simple. Trikonasana stance, arms lift, inhale. Reach right hand far forward, hip moves back, and then we lower the arm. Containing the low ribs as you open your chest. Neck aligned with the rest of the spine. The head doesn't fall down. Back of the neck is long. Feel your power, the strength of your body, and the sweetness of your breath, the vitality moving through you. One more breath here in Trikonasana. Then gaze at the right foot, left hand to hip, bend the front knee, take your hand to the outside of the foot ahead and sliding the back foot in a bit, you can then lift the leg parallel to floor, turning the left toes out, really opening the pelvis, flex the left foot to engage, to energize that leg, left arm can reach up. If you're bending the standing leg, you bend just a little bit, keeping the knee in line with the ankle so it doesn't collapse in. Keep sending the outer right hip back as you open the chest. And maybe that right hand is so light it floats. Powerful legs, radiant body, stable mind, fluid breath. Just one more breath here. And then slowly bringing both hands down to close off the hips, turning the left toes down. Send the outer right hip back. The leg stays up. Fold over the right leg. Release your head. Engage the insides of the legs. Now your left hand will stay down. Reach your chest forward. Open heart. Right hand to hip. Gaze over the right shoulder for that twisted version of Ardha Chandrasana. Right arm could extend up. Keep moving the outer right hip back, open up the chest, feel your power, resilience, tapas, discipline, fire of transformation. One more breath. Bring the right hand back down and step your left foot next to the right. Feet can be hip distance. Bend the knees a bit, release your head. Come halfway up, inhale, chest forward, hands to legs. Fold down, exhale, bend the knees and roll up. Inhale, circle arms, reach high. Namaskar, exhale. One more standing pose. Step one foot out so you're facing me or both feet, maybe for most of you. <laughs> now turn your heels in. We're doing goddess pose today. Open your arms out. Beginning with Tara Asana, the star pose. The feet really wide, really wide, okay? Yeah, yeah, maybe turning around the mat is better. And then bend your knees and your elbows. This is the goddess pose. Now, check to see, are the hips sticking back? Can you keep them a little more in line with your feet by tucking the tailbone downward and the knees should not collapse in. So knees stay as aligned with the ankles as possible. Spread the fingers wide, allow yourself to shine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hips a little further down if possible. Stay here, lift the chest more, inhale. Exhale, tailbone towards the ground. Stay, inhale, crown of the head up without lifting the hips. Last time, last breath here. Exhale. As you inhale, extend everything out, shining like a star, Tara Asana. Exhale, bend the elbows and the knees again. Goddess pose, tone in the low belly, pelvis as neutral as possible and heart open. From here, hands to the legs in any way that is comfortable. We're gonna move one shoulder forward at a time, extending one arm at a time. Now you may wanna bring your toes to face forward a little more. Do it in a way that feels more stable on your knee joint. 
and then move at your own pace, releasing tension from the shoulders, the neck, and also finding a little stretch for the back when you move from side to side, pressing into the legs, the thighs. And then we pause in center, rounding the spine just a bit, roll up, extend the legs, shoulders up and back and down. <sighs> Walk your feet together and sit down, however is most natural to you. We're coming to lying down. So space behind you, point your feet, reach the arms forward, inhale, chest up. Exhale, round the spine, contracting the belly to slowly make your way down. Once the head is on the floor, hug in your knees. Relax your back. Notice the quality of your awareness now. Notice if the mental fluctuations, modifications, the vrittis have calmed down a bit. And then place the feet on the floor for bridge pose. Setu Bandhasana. Arms down by the body. We take a deep breath, letting the belly rise. Contracting low belly. Exhale, getting empty, all the air out. In the emptiness, lift the hips. Take another deep breath, lifting up the chest. Walk the shoulders close together. Palms can interlace, fingers can interlace. Imagine squeezing a block between the thighs. Lift the hips high, lift the chest towards chin. Maintaining space underneath the neck. Press down the feet, feel the earth, and then lift your pubic bone higher to sky. Receiving illumination from the moon, from the sun. Open to seeing truth, to receiving insight. Letting what you need to know at this point in your life, come to your awareness, trusting, and whatever you need to know right now will come to you. If you stay open, trustful. One more breath, hips up, chest up. And separating hands, shoulders, Bringing the upper back down, the hips will come down last. Knees fall inward. If you've got a pillow or a blanket or a cushion, place it under your head. And the arms out. Separate the feet as wide as the mat. Take a breath in center. Exhale, knees turn right, head turns left. Center, breathing in, breathe out, knees left, head right. Inhale up, feel the sensations of the movement as your knees turn right, your head left, what happens in the body? Inhale up, twist, exhale. Inhale up, one more time. Exhale, knees right, head left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Return to center. Bring feet hip distance apart. Cross left ankle over right thigh. Knee pointing out external rotation of femur. Waist long, right foot can come off the floor. Interlacing hands behind thigh or in front of shin. As an option, or, and as an option here, you could hook the left foot to the inside of your elbow, 
or just hold your shin in place. And then extend the right leg forward in line with the hip with the toes pointing up. Just a variation. If you do that, notice the alignment of your foot. The top of the left foot should stay aligned with the center of the ankle and the front of the shin. No tension being created around the neck. Breath easy. The right leg, if straightforward, can be hovering above the ground or touching, the heel touching down. Soften the face. Opening up the left hip, which is an area greatly affected by the second chakra, Svadhisthana, also governed by water. A lot of emotional energy is stored here around the hips, the pelvis, the low back. So let there be a clearing of stagnant emotional stuff. Finishing the exhalation in no rush. If the leg is straight, bend the right knee, placing the right foot on the floor, everyone, and then the left foot down. Pause for a moment. With both feet down, just observe the two hips, the two sides of your back, pelvis stable. And then prepare the other side with the right ankle coming over, interlacing hands behind thigh or in front of shin. If you had a different variation on the first side, try the same variation here to keep the body more balanced. Relax the shoulders, relax the face, unclenching jaw. Soften eyes, let them be deeply fallen into the eye sockets. The space between the eyebrows wide. The forehead smooth. Inviting clarity into the third eye, Agnya Chakra. Clarity which helps us see truth. Entering a state of expanded awareness of pure potentiality. A state where things naturally arise and dissolve. Clearing the area of the right hip, low back, Svadhisthana Chakra. After the exhalation here, bend the left knee, placing the left foot on the floor, and then the right foot down. 
pausing for a moment with both feet down, the knees can fall inwards, notice your pelvis. And let's take the palms flat on the lower abdominal area, creating a triangle with your hands by joining the tips of the thumbs and the pointer fingers together as you rest your hands comfortably on the area of the low belly. So your fingertips of the index fingers are actually touching the pubic bone. The gesture of the womb. A moment to become aware of the creative potential that lies within all of us, Shakti power, power to create anything that we envision, that we honestly desire for the greater good of all. And we're moving into happy baby before Shavasana. So when you're ready, you can bring your knees into armpits, soles up, move around as you like. Knees bent, your legs straight. And on your own time, enter Shavasana. Getting cozy, setting up for a nice relaxation. Relaxation that allows for healing. Observe the body resting in the support of Mother Earth. Open, receptive, trustful. Relax your feet completely, let it happen. Your ankles, your legs, the pelvis, the belly, rib cage, chest, the whole back, the shoulders, the arms and hands, completely relaxed, throat, neck, face, scalp, brain, the entire body at ease. The space between the eyebrows wide, forehead smooth. And visualize right above your head, a full moon, glowing, softly illuminating the sky. Let yourself receive a moon bath. Receive this soft glow of the full moon that is shining right above your head, directly above Agnya Chakra, the point between the eyebrows. A radiant moon that is 
helping you stay calm. Trustful of your intuitive abilities. Open to any insight. Without needing to grasp for anything, just becoming aware. Aware of this moment. Aware of your nature of pure potentiality. Where things arise and dissolve back into remaining unchanged. But the awareness has been expanded, the understanding of truth. Resting in this relaxed awareness. Open. Bathing in the moonlight. And without disconnecting from this state of relaxed awareness, begin moving your hands and your feet. Circular movements, both ways. Stretching out. Take your time hugging in knees. Rolling over to one side. And seating again. Tall spine, open heart. Eyes can remain closed a bit longer. All the attention within. Notice what the mental fluctuations are like now. Notice how the yoga practice has affected you. And if the mental modifications are a little more at ease now, a little calmer. If you're closer to the state of yoga, the state where the mental fluctuations eventually are no longer present. And we're not associating with likes and dislikes, with any sense of separation, we're pure awareness.
Let us close by joining the hands at heart in gratitude, bringing to mind and to heart something you are grateful for. Let it fill you up, that feeling of gratitude. We'll close with the same mantra we opened, Loka Samasta. Inhale. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Namaste. Namaste.